Hi, this is Destiny from Desfix and welcome back to another video in the Django blog using Django and React.js. In this one, we'll get started working with the bookmark post API view. That is what we'll be doing. Hopefully, you will enjoy the video and learn something new. So, let's get started. Begin by opening up your code editor and down here, I will create a new class and I'll call this one bookmark post API view. So, bookmark post API view. And this should inherit from API view. All right. So after we have this, let's go ahead and define a post method, passing self and request. And we need to get a couple of things from the front end, user ID, post ID, just like we did over here. You could even just take these two things, don't type them out again, and put it down here. Okay. And after you have this, let's go ahead and fetch bookmark. So I'll say bookmark should be equal to API models the bookmark dot objects dot filter and I want to filter by post should be equal to post and also user should be equal to equal to user dot first okay so now what we pretty much do is try to see if this particular bookmark already exists based on this user ID and post ID. Now, just like we did for the like, if the bookmark actually exists, then what do we want to do? Let's delete the bookmark. So bookmark.delete because a user will be clicking on the same button after they have added bookmark. So the button should pretty much toggle the deleting and adding of bookmark. I hope that makes sense. And now let's return the response also to the front end. And we could just say post on bookmarks or bookmark deleted you call it whatever you want okay so post on bookmarked i don't know if that's actually a right word to use and this should be http 200 okay all right so um how about a bookmark doesn't exist in that case we then need to go ahead and create a new bookmark so we just need to say api models the bookmark bookmark dot objects the create and user should be user post should be post okay it's as simple as that now let's create notification so i'm gonna take one of those notifications here and pretty much put it down there and this should just be bookmark now this one is totally up to you if you don't want to show a, notif a bookmark notification whenever a post gets bookmarked you could just comment this out, okay? But if you want that, you could just leave it. That's totally up to you. So finally, let's go ahead and return a response, just like we've been doing. Returning the response, we could just say post bookmarked and change this to HTTP 201 created. So when you create a new object, it's recommended to send a 201 created. When something just happens um, and everything went well, you decided to send the 200, okay? All right, so that is pretty much it. And with this, we have come to the end of the core APIs. The next one, we'll get started working with the dashboard APIs. It's quite straightforward, straight to the point, very easy, and you will enjoy the video. So that's it. I hope you guys actually enjoyed this video and learned something new. And we haven't registered this and tested it, so let's register and test, and we should be done. So this should be bookmark posts. Hopefully, you know I duplicated that. And this should be bookmark post api view so with this now let's check our apis reload and now you can now see bookmark posts so where is it okay we haven't added this you, you should actually take this swagger ui here and add it remember i said this is very um optional if you don't want to do this it's totally up to you I'm just doing this because I, I'm using Swagger UI for testing, okay? So, our page has reloaded again. Now you can refresh your page and come over to bookmark post. Then add user ID one, post one, then execute. You can now see post on bookmarked. If you execute again, post on bookmarked. If you execute again, post bookmarked and so on. So now if you come over to the bookmarked, you can now see we have one bookmarked post over here. So that is it. Congratulations. You are done with the core APIs. 
In the next one, we'll get started working with the dashboard APIs. And after the dashboard APIs, then we'll start working with React JS. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and learned something new. If there is anything that you don't understand, let me know in the comment section below and I'll be more than happy to help you out. I hope to see you in the next video. And until then, mad love, peace out.